Dr. Dan, hey, it's Ken. Uh, I'm a web designer for coaches, and uh, thanks for posting your website. I'm going to dive right in and not even look at it before I go in, just to give you my fresh eyes on what I'm seeing and some ideas to improve it. Uh, I want to say that when I do look at websites, I'm always thinking, how can this website engage the visitor quickly, get them excited about what you do and what's you know, the kind of help they can get, and does it invite and excite them to take action to contact you? Okay. So we want your website to help you generate leads, get clients. Maybe you're selling things, what have you, but for most coaches, it's about getting the clients. Okay. So here's your website. I just pulled it up. Let me dive in. Okay, you mentioned you did this on one-on-one -on -one hosting, and uh, I did muck around with them many years ago, and um, I know there's a little background noise here. Uh, let me just close this window real quick. Oh, okay. Um, I did muck around with the, the builder at one-on-one -on -one hosting a while ago mucked around with other website builders, GoDaddy and other ones, and they're, they're just a mess. They're clunky, they take a lot of time. Even Wix and Weebly and like Squarespace, the other ones, they're better than the other ones in the past, but there's a, um, it's just clunky, clunky mess. Um, I don't know how things have gone for one-on-one since today, but um, okay. So what we have here feels clunky to me right away. I'm on a MacBook Air, uh, 13 inch, and right now these there's images scrolling across. There's a hiccup and a flash, and like I'm getting a, a big image popping up. I try to keep my computer and um, my setup very basic so that I get the experience that a lot of people will get. So you get these moving images, which generally I don't like because they um, just distract you know, they kind of pull you around. Uh, they're nice images, but I think static images do the same thing. Um, and you have text on top of images, which kind of makes it hard to read. It looks like things are off. It doesn't look right. Positioning of things aren't consistent. Um, right, so that's my initial impression right now. I would probably leave thinking this is just an unfinished or broken site or something like that. You know, when you see sites with a lot of ads on it or just kind of, kind of feel slapped together, they... Um, you know, you feel like it's one of those sites that's just coming I mean, out right. That being said, if people come to your site and they know you a little bit or they've been referred to you, of course, they'll be more patient. But if they're searching online and, you know, they're coming to a site, you know, that there's an instant, is this a legitimate site? So I, I get a minus in that direction. Let me point out a few good things before I break your spirit. You know, getting a site done is a big deal. So congratulations for pulling that together. I like the menu at the top. It's simple. There's only a handful of things. I like that it has your name in the domain name, Dr. Dan Tom Thomason, and then it's right here on the top as well. So that's good. Nice work. And you've got your face here, which is a bit small, but at least you're present. A lot of coaches hide. They don't even show their face on a website. So that's, that's not so good. But those are definitely some good things. You have a nice little wording. Start your relationship renovation today. So that's cool. Um, that you're working with relations that need to be renovated, uh, relationships that need to be renovated. Um, other things to improve, I would probably get a more juicier, maybe a, a one to two longer sentence saying, uh, stating what you do. For example, you work with couples who have been together for a while and they've lost their excitement, they're arguing too much, and they want to find their love, the ones they, they once had, want to reno renovate, and make things pretty again. Maybe something like that, a full sentence or two sentences that really encapsulate you know, the essence of what you do. Um, that's what I would get here with your face. Get rid of the moving stuff. Just one good image will do the trick. A couple together I think is the most powerful one here. This one, uh, you've got stuff floating around. Blueprint, okay, the blueprint, right there. There's a nice one, couple connected, fantastic. I would get rid of the other moving things. Um, the get your copy now button, I almost can't read the word get your copy now. 
You don't want to fix that. Um, you have good elements on the site. Uh, this feel jumbled. Uh, I get Dan's relationship book, get your copy now. So, you, so I would section these things off so that it's clear that there are sections here. Um, you're trying to make the, you're trying to put a lot of things in the center of this homepage and it just gets to be overwhelming and confusing. And because it's not organized well, it feels just like stuff copied and pasted onto the page, pro improperly positioned, etc. So I, it can use a structuring and cleaning positionally. Um, but ba -ba -ba, what else do I want to say? Um, cool that you have your uh, happy 2019 free initial consultation. It started as little as 49. I wouldn't make your counseling sound like a special offer deal of 49.99, buy one, get your second one free kind of thing. It's good to have your fees um, if someone's going to book right away and make it clear, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't hide that at, highlight that. I get the price I'd, be, I'd come last. If you're going to uh, offer a getting started package with you for, 40, for some pricing, I spend a lot more time talking about the package, the value in it, who is it for, how does it work, and those things, um, the benefits you get out of it. That's what sells coaching. The price tag... Sure, it needs to be something you need to consider, but I wouldn't make a price tag a motivating factor like 49 bucks. Um, good that you have a free initial consultation mentioned here. That's cool. I think that initial consultation is very important. I would make it a full page dedicated to that initial consultation. How do you sign up for it? What to expect that? How do you prepare for it if you do? If not, what do we do in the call? What, what do you stand to gain by being in the call? You know, a sense of, hope for your relationship, um, a new way of looking at things so you don't feel so much dread or whatever. These kind of things is what sells coaching. Uh, schedule your initial consultation today, text or call so-and-so. Okay, that's cool. Um, you might want to be clear it's a USA phone number. Maybe not. Maybe the people who are coming to your site are in the U.S., um, which is probably the case. Um, so I would also, yeah, again, dedicate a page to this offer. Um, you need some restructuring here. So you got a video here as well. Um, I usually have a bunch of pages. Welcome. So I'm on the home page. You have a separate page as welcome. Um, usually the home page is the welcome. If you're going to give me a welcome letter or something like that, which it looks like you kind of are, I'd probably be put this more on the home page. Welcome. So the page called welcome, and now it's talking about an ebook format. So that's a disconnect. Um, that's to be a book. You should have a page called ebook. If you look at my site, I have a page called ebook, a uh, book or guide. So uh, if you want, if you're selling that product, make a page for it instead of kind of injecting stuff around. A good photo of yourself. That's cool. Um, so your yeah, your welcome page um, has a little bit more copy. I think I put something on like this on the home page. I wouldn't make a separate welcome page. I just have a good home page. Dan's vlog, so that's cool. You're doing video. Um, yeah, the sliding image has got to go. Maybe it slides once or twice at the beginning, but if it keeps going, um, it's a bit of a mess. Um, you know who has a good site? A person who bought my book. It's um, Gideon uh, Hanacom, I believe it's pronounced. The Relationship Guy. Cohen said. Um, the Relationship Guy. Cohen said co.co.nz so he's in new zealand gideon and um he he's got a good website for relationships you might want to take a look at that uh contact us coaching products um contact dr dan um products let's see our products diy program first first month's coaching fee 248 um, I think this is what you mean by services. Yeah. I would not call yourself a product, but call yourself a service or coaching. Um, you have products, live coaching with Dan, Dr. Dan's book. He's right. She's right. A relationship problem solving. Content. That's great. Good title there. Uh, this font is very small too. You need to bump this up. It's way too small. In fact, there's a left column here. I don't know what that is about, but 
I would make this much bigger and just span it out to the left side. Probably want to take a look inside on mobile devices. If I squish your site to small, it okay, it reshapes. That's a good thing. Font is a bit small. Um, your font is like a medium blue, and the background is like a medium blue. Maybe you want a softness about it, your site, and that's okay. But if you want your site to feel soft and, and comfortable, um, colors will do that. But if it's going to make it harder to read, like the small font and then gray on gray, so to speak, it's not so ideal. I'd make the font bigger and make the contrast a little bit more. Maybe bigger is enough, but the font is a bit rough there. All right. Um, I think the biggest thing is – let me pull my face up. I think the biggest thing, uh, Dr. Dan, is to make it um, cleanly organized. You have, it feels scattery. Um, that, and then just bump the font, font sizes up, get a good, short, concise message up there, and I think you'll do a lot with your site. You might want to look at a new platform. Um, I don't know what one one has, and, if, and if, also if you're spending a lot of time doing this yourself, that's probably not ideal. You probably need to spend time getting clients. If your website's not important for that, okay, then don't do anything. But if your website is a, a big credibility piece, then you might want to maybe get someone else to handle it, me perhaps. But um, if it's not getting the attention it needs and it is important, well, that's something you have to figure out how to make that happen. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. And I have one more to get to today. Thanks for posting your site. I am going to pop this on my blog so that um, there's a link to it because stuff in social gets swallowed up. I'll probably email you privately. Um, I'll let you know that it's here. Cool. I hope this has been helpful.